historic day in Fort Benton. One, two, three. Breaking ground on the very first scaled hemp fiber processing plant in the United States. The small farming community in Shoto County with around 1,500 residents gaining national fame. Stuff like this just is coming on I'm along for real long now. It's a big deal for Fort Benton. Mayor Rick Morris was joined by John Tester, Montana's Democratic Senator. And I, like most people you probably talked to, went, yeah, sure, Rick, I'll believe it when I see it. As well as employees from the industrial hemp company, Indy Hemp. There's a lot of these small towns that, that they look like they're dying. The company already providing dozens of new employment opportunities in Fort Benton. There's opportunities to employ people. And from a Shoto County standpoint, from a Fort Benton standpoint, uh, a, a lot of people, which is really, really good news. Over the next several years, Indy Hemp hopes to center its industrial hemp processing in the Fort Benton area, eventually developing a second facility. Together, the facilities will support over 30,000 acres of production in the Golden Triangle. This is the birthplace of Montana. This could well be the birthplace of hemp processing, which is, which is really good for all of Montana and it's good for the country. The groundbreaking was made possible by the passage of the 2018 Farm Bill, which legalized the regulated production of hemp in the United States. Hemp is part of the plant family Cannabis Sativa, and it's related to marijuana, got the seeds here. but it's legal because it has much lower levels of THC. So here's what all the fuss is about. A hemp plant plucked right from the ground out here in Fort Benton. I'm outside the Indy facility here. The plant is entirely versatile. You can use the stem for things like fiber and even 3D printing. You can use the seeds for a superfood in your smoothies, and all of it could be key to revitalizing the Golden Triangle's economy and bringing jobs back in the years to come. Something that uh, hasn't existed in this country before, uh, now existing right here in Fort Benton, uh, is a very, very good sign. In Fort Benton, Zach Shermley, MTN News. For the full interview with John Tester and to find out why Canada is ahead of the U.S. in hemp production, you can visit us online.